Hey guys, it's Wednesday. This, I'll start out with the silver lining of my day because it's the freshest thing in my mind because it's Wednesday and in the UK that's the day that Supernatural is on and season 6 began last week and I only actually got to watch it today because I taped it and I haven't had time to watch it and I have to say my first reaction was oh my god Corin Nemec is in it because as you might know I've been watching Stargate recently and Corin Nemec played Jonas when Daniel was sort of permanently dead because Daniel dies all the time so yeah that was basically my first reaction to it because obviously we all knew that Sam was coming back so yeah and the theme for this week is summer and I don't really know what I'm going to do this summer I have plans to like get a job but no one's actually hiring or at least no one's hiring me so I'm I'm trying out temp agencies at the moment because at least if I can temp somewhere I'll still be getting some money. So wish me luck with that. Of course it will take down the amount of time that I have to do stuff I'm actually interested in. But at least it'll get me money. And I quite need money as well because, let me see, yesterday it was the grab bag on Team Fury and I bought three of them. <laughs> and almost as soon as I did that I started to regret it. Because, um, the shipping cost was pretty much as much as the cost of the actual t-shirts themselves. <laughs> but I figure that if I don't like the ones I'm sent, I can just sell them on Amazon. So I'm not really big on summer because, I don't know, in a way I suppose I just enjoy the rest of the year more. Because I'm not a big fan of heat. Because I do actually have a tendency to faint when it gets too hot. But that's more like in places where it's properly hot. I don't have to worry about that at home, thank god. But there was a time when we were on holiday in Spain and I was really quite young and I ended up fainting in the middle of a Spanish supermarket. That was quite terrifying because there is nothing like opening your eyes, being on the floor and being surrounded by a lot of concerned Spanish people. Because that was before I started learning Spanish so I didn't have a clue what they were saying. And part of my problem with summer as well is that it's really quite boring compared to the rest of the year because there's nothing to do. I mean, okay, during the rest of the year, the school, but that's now uni, and I prefer uni to school, because there's few hours, even though it's annoying that throughout the week I have classes that could be realistically shoved into two days. Part of what I'm doing right now is waiting really impatiently for exam results, because I get really quite freaked out about exams, so I suppose all this waiting is driving me insane. I mean, usually it doesn't matter so much. Because I do have a tendency to do fairly well on exams, so I don't usually worry that much. But with this year being like my first year of university, and also with me wanting to drop film, and that really is quite dependent on whether I pass it or not, it really is becoming quite a really annoying waiting game. Because as far as I know, they don't even tell you when they put the results up on the website. It's just sort of like, go check every day. So at the moment it's sort of like mid-afternoon and before I go to bed that I check and it takes up most of my day thinking, is it up yet? Is it up yet? Because I'm not really good with this whole distracting myself. But really I think that's all I have to say for today and I'm really kind of short on time and this is one that I'm actually going to have to edit. <laughs> I'm really bad at editing. It's not that I can't do it, it's not that I can't be bothered. <laughs> but anyway, running out of time, yes. So I am just going to say, Izzy, I will see you tomorrow. Teacher, I've got a fitting.